Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Addison, whatever time you're listening, and thank you for joining us for our ASD Chat for All podcast. We have lots of fun and exciting things on the horizon for Addison School District 4, and this podcast allows us the opportunity to connect with our parents and guardians, families, and community to celebrate our students, their accomplishments, and so much more. Your hosts for this podcast are ASD4 Superintendent Dr. Nick Sutton and myself, Dean Constantopoulos. You interested in hearing more about what's going on in District 4? Come on in and have a chat. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us again for our ASD Chat for All podcast. Uh, my name is Dean Constantopoulos, and I'm here with my co-host, Dr. Nick Sutton. Nick, how are we doing this fine morning? I'm great. You know, a lot of times it seems like we've been in this routine. We record these things in the afternoon, so our, our guest today mm-hmm. gets to be the first early morning guest, so it's, it's kind of nice. That's right. That's right. So, Dean, uh, for everybody out there listening, who we got hanging out here with us? So, today we have the pleasure of having Jake Aranke, who is the Director of Buildings and Grounds here at Addison uh, School District 4. Jake, how are you doing this morning? Doing very well, guys. Appreciate the opportunity. So. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great. Thanks so much for having us. Uh, or thanks so much for coming on and joining us. Uh, so let's jump right into the first question. So I got to say, um, for anybody that doesn't know, we've had a few additions here um, over the past few years in the district. For example, uh, some additions at the uh, Early Learning Center, uh, some updates to our Ardmore office. And if you've been in our uh, Indian Trail building, you'll see our amazing new music wing as well as the innovation centers over at uh, Lincoln Elementary and Lake Park School. And actually, Jake and his team were responsible for all of these changes before he was even here at Addison uh, School District 4. So could you tell us a little bit uh, about your time before you came to ASC 4? Yeah, absolutely. So I started uh, construction management uh, right out of college. Been in the industry for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Um, I started at the Addison School District working for you guys uh, at the ELC edition mm-hmm. and the Ardmore edition, Indian Trail renovations. That's that really yeah, is. It was yeah, cool. uh, met the team. I loved it here, and uh, yeah, the rest is really history. We come. I came back and wanted to work with you guys directly, mm-hmm. and then the opportunity came, and I took it. So um, it was good. It's a it's a great experience. It's been great. Uh, all the renovations, everything to this building, it has been awesome. You know, mm-hmm. we got the boardrooms. Or, um, we got the innovation labs. Everything has just come together, and it's awesome to see, you know, from start to finish, really. So it's been good. Very well said. So, I mean, as somebody who's newer to the district, even newer than, than, than you, and, I, and I'm learning, like, for everybody out there listening that's like an Addison person that is like, I went to school here, like, some of these elementary libraries look significantly different. Oh, like, yeah. They look Absolutely. impressive. Um I, I kind of give some comments about that, and then more than anything, um, you know, kind of how did you kind of fall into this passion of like wanting to improve educational campuses and buildings? Because a lot of times, a lot of buildings that serve students, they get a little aged, they, yeah. they get a little um, out of date, mm-hmm. and so Absolutely. there's always plenty of opportunities to update them. Absolutely. Yeah, I got into it, uh, just really got thrown into it. From my previous company, they, they said we needed a project manager for the education side. I loved working with, you know, everybody involved, the B&G guys, mm-hmm. the principals, um, the architects, and it just became a passion of mine. Um, I knew I wanted to do it maybe later in life, mm-hmm. but after I had more years in the construction industry to become a B&G guy, but yeah. the opportunity came, you know, sooner than I thought, and it was great, and I took it. So we did a lot of those renovations, and it's great working with a lot of different people that have different views on education. Right? Mm-hmm. We have the principals have their views of what their that school is a really interesting point. Yeah, yeah. I never really looked at it that way. <clears throat> I always liked being the guy that was in the middle of everything. Right? I like coordinating with people. I communicate. I try communicating the best with everybody, mm-hmm. and it just it worked out for me. You know, and. Uh, specifically, these innovation labs have been great because we got the input from, you know, all the principals, all the admin, our architects. I'm going to shout out Leggett Architects. Mm-hmm. They've been doing a great job. Tyler Wade and uh, Rob Rovel, 
They've been great for this district, uh, giving us that cool and just fun, exciting vision for our district, and, and they're doing a great job, and then we just execute it. You know, ICI has been doing a good job for us. Um, Steve, Steve Moore, um, he's been great. He's new with us after I left, but mm -hmm. um, it's been great, you know, and, and that vision just continues to grow into Indian Trail. So we're very excited about that one, too, coming up. So so, uh, so tell us a little bit more about uh, the Indian Trail changes, because I know that uh, I, I, years ago I actually went to Indian Trail as yeah. well, and the round building had not changed since I was there. And now we're, uh, we're seeing some massive changes coming in. Actually, if you want to take a look at our... Mm -hmm. A website www.asd4.org you can check out our construction page we have some renderings of the upcoming uh, uh, lab coming up at uh, Indian Trail but Jake if you want to tell us a little bit more about that absolutely again Leggett threw a great design to us um, with all the input from everybody admin principals you know and end users really we, we involved some students and and just had input and that was the big thing, right? Indian Trail Library never changed, mm -hmm. right? And bringing all of us together and all the ideas flying, it it's going to be a great space. You know, we're adding natural light. Everybody loves natural light. Yes. We're literally raising the roof on this building, you know, and, and that's cool. And throwing just features, you know, accent walls, a learning stair, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where you could have a small group or a lecture type area and just incorporating this into our curriculum i think it's going to be awesome and i like being part of that space that we could say like hey we built this for the community mm -hmm. we Absolutely. built this for our district we built this for everybody that wants to become somebody at addison school district and to to have the kids feel that take a sense of pride in their in their school is is the best feeling of it so i it's, it's awesome to be a part of it. Absolutely. And you know what? I can tell you right now that just hearing uh, your passion about Absolutely. this and how much you care about this, um, I can tell that anybody who's listening to this will know that their kids and our space are in good hands because if our whole team is as passionate as you are, we all know that we're in great hands here with you guys. Because it really is, for anybody out there listening, it's a dramatic change that's coming to that space. Oh, yeah. It's it's dramatic. And, and I remember the first time that I saw that space as is, um, I saw the opportunity for updates. And then the first time that I saw what it was going to become, mm -hmm. uh, it's a dramatic change. So, it, you know, Jake, as, as people are listening to this, um, what should they expect in terms of timeline? And, and you know, if, if there's any parents out there that are going to the junior high, Kind of what's that going to look like? You know, mm -hmm. is there going to be, oh, you know, we're going to have to have this, you know, uh, blocked off. And, and there's going to be a special entrance here because just like we want beautiful new updated buildings, it's a process. Mm -hmm. And so we at least want to make sure we communicate the process because that's going to be a little bit of a variable for a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, really, we broke this renovation into two phases. So basically the outer ring of the round building and the inner ring of the round building. Mm -hmm. So the outer ring are, uh, house all the classrooms. So those classrooms are going to be online for the start of the school year. Um, no way fans or butts, it's happening. Great. Um, the inside of the building, the inner ring is going to is gonna lag a little bit. So we're going to turn that over. They're going to turn that over to us in December. So the start of the new year, your students and staff will be in the new innovation center and the LRC and the whole building basically, right? It's gonna be turned over 100%. So some traffic, uh, door seven is gonna be, have some traffic for construction, but uh, other than that, we're gonna to try to keep all the streets clean, everything contained in our little area outside of door seven. And, and yeah, it, it shouldn't really affect the parents it shouldn't really affect the students as much because they're going to have basically the whole building except for the in in inner ring of the round building accessible to them so great yeah awesome this is very exciting such exciting stuff uh coming up on the horizon Absolutely. so i gotta tell you um and for anybody listening 
the uh, the facilities team here at ASD4 truly are the unsung heroes of our district. They they are encountering and dealing with situations mm -hmm. that many of us wouldn't even think of on a daily basis. So I just want to take the opportunity to really kind of shout them out. Um, they do so much here for us. Uh, and so, uh, Jake, if you'd like to go ahead and uh, name drop some some of the folks that work here for us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got a great team. I'm very excited about our team. We've built a, a connection that I feel is strong and showing that commitment to the district. Mm -hmm. So, shout out my assistant director, assistant director, excuse me, um, John Larkin. He's been awesome for me. He's been in the district forever. You know, he's been here mm -hmm. 35 years. So he, he has the knowledge of the district. He's been mentoring everybody and helping everybody get to just be passionate about what he does. Mm -hmm. If you ever met John, you know him. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's the guy. He's the assistant director. Um, we have a couple different levels now. So we have level three guys. Um, so that's going to be a Harry Chaddick mm -hmm. and Scott Selzinger. Mm -hmm. And then we have a HVAC level three uh tyler winker he's been killing it too you know he's a guy that goes around all the schools and uh and really keeps us uh tempered <laughs> gotcha well, okay. nice well, and cool yeah. during the summer that's right? for sure um and then we have a level two position um that really is a spot for our level one guys that we have right now to move up and, and train to get to that next position but mm -hmm. uh, we don't have anybody there right now so our team's kind of new, like Dean's, Dean said, but mm -hmm. our level one guys, we have Brian Edwards mm -hmm. and Brian Enright. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking to everybody. And uh, and then we have um, Jose Lechuga, who's actually the administrator for me So and the facility department. So he's the guy that... He's the face too, right? If you call our mm -hmm. office, he's the one picking up and he's the one that's going to help uh, direct you to wherever you need and where we need to... Um, get any personnel to your school or in the community or whatever he's the guy that kind of coordinates everybody um, along with myself so awesome well thank you so much and Jake if we want to if somebody wants to reach out to you if they have any questions or anything like that uh, where would be the best way for them to get in contact with you yeah so the best way is really to go on to the Addison website you know www.asd4.org um, we have a facilities page, mm -hmm. uh, my contacts on there, and then the main office uh, line. So that will get to Jose also. And Excellent. He'll put you in the right direction. Very good. Perfect. And and Nick, if, if somebody wanted to get in contact with you about uh, different things going on in the district or if they have any questions or concerns, how would they reach out to you? I uh, love uh, talking to anybody mm -hmm. about anything about Addison. And so the easiest way to do so is on Twitter, at Dr. Nick Sutton. Dean, if somebody wants to talk about Addison, the podcast, or just life in general, mm -hmm. what's the easiest way to reach out to you? Best way to reach out to me, that's going to also be Twitter, uh, at AddisonSD4. So thank you all for listening. Jake, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for next time. Thank you for tuning in to our ASD Chat for All podcast. Check us out at www.asd4.org. Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts for more. We'll be back soon with another episode, so stay tuned.